Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are combing the salt desert. Um, salt desert? No, no, we're not doing that. I don't know why I said that. We are <laughs> combing the salt marsh. Um, for any layers, ruins, or uh, reputation that we could gain, I am actually trying to. Uh, you know what? We could use that which would bark. <clears throat> I am trying to make friends with Snapjaws for the purposes of gaining other various reputations because Snapjaw, legendary Snapjaws tend to be very common. Uh, although you could fool me because I have not been seeing them, at least not in the salt uh, marsh. They are, they should be more common, but I have, I haven't really been seeing them, so I don't know. Also, finding another uh, village wouldn't be a bad thing at all. We could get very lucky, like we did in the last uh, playthrough, where we find a village that has like th four. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, we didn't gain anything from that. Here's hoping, though. That was our first vast animus since we got twenty glimmer. We're hoping for more ego. I've been very, very careful about how I spend my mutation points. Um, I.e. I have not been spending them because I would like to save them for buying more mutations. Uh, I should really do the math, but at a certain point, um, it will be a good idea to just start buying... Oh, stun. You take a stun gas grenade. Okay, well, we can deal with our stuff. What, what, what do we got? Uh... I want to disassemble that. I don't know if I do yet. Food. Oh, you know, well, I don't want to preserve the dreadroot tubers. Those could be salves in the future, but I really have to f uh, go and find out how to make those. Gotta, I gotta do a trip to Ezra at some point. Um, let's maybe disassemble something. Maybe a solar cell. To keep the high capacity solar cell. There's a bunch of trash on this zone, hence why I'm exploring. We could really do with uh, trash divining. We have 300 skills, skill points, so um, we could take... Oh, tw trash divining is intelligence 21. Could have fooled me. It's just occurred to me, I, I did cheese Golgotha in this run. Um, so... There is a ton of trash at the bottom there. I think when I hit 21, I will take trash divining and then it'll be worth going back to Golgotha to, uh, there's generally a absolute metric ton of trash or in Jopa in, in, uh, in the base of Golgotha. There is unfortunately a terrifying monster there that will tear us limb from limb, but you know, we should be able to deal with them. It's a shame. Uh, I do like making friends with a slog, and we don't actually have an official slog run um, on the channel. I did a slog run um, on stream at one point, which ended in semi-disaster, but it was pretty fun. I did enjoy that run. I may at some point, like once I once this whole achievement hunting business is behind us, then we can start talking about um, fun or gimmick runs and we can also start talking about game changing mods which uh i know has been a request um in the past for for me to do but have very much kind of like been I, like i really wanted to get the most out of cud before that happened and i am <laughs> like uh, i'm officially up to like almost 500 hours um in this game I'm pretty sure I've gotten the most out of Vanilla Cud. I have enjoyed Vanilla Cud quite a lot, and I would like to see what the modding community has cooked up. There's a lot of really, really cool mods um, that I would love to, to make use of. Oh, we got Gnus! Ch Chitness Puma as well, which the Gnus are uh, apparently very cool with. No, they're not cool with them. Okay. Uh, what kind of reputation we got? <clears throat> disliked, disliked by the Mopango. Why? Why? 
right from pre-programming their favorite robot yo did they repro did this gnu reprogram their turret dang uh what kind of reputation do we have with mopango i could probably stand to take a mopango hit yeah i can should i though for antelope reputation though hated by vines i don't know i don't think th i don't think this reputation is interesting enough to matter Yeah, Chinna's Pumas are no joke. They are, they are tend to always be kind of uh, a disaster for me. I know there's now um, Chitness dogs. I don't know if they're officially in the game yet, but they are going to be a thing. And they're going to be, like, absolute monsters. In a good way, you know. I guess since they are technically dogs, um, we'll probably be on good terms with Chitness dogs. I sure hope so, because, yeah, I, like, that's going to be kind of a kind of a mess. Is that salty water? Okay, not, not fresh water. Okay. Uh, this is the top end of Jopa. Have I looked at this statue yet? Yes, I have. Oh, is that a statue? Oh, there we go. Extra statue that I didn't see. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, very clearly our gas like Chris is drained again, so we're going to have to keep on that. There is a legendary uh, snapjaw on the zone. That would be kind of nice. Engraved bronze dagger. It is. It's got some stuff on it. Gigantic copper nugget. Uh, that'll put us over the load, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be worth taking. I think it'll only have like. Five, it'll be worth like five more drams. But you know, I guess I guess I'm taking it. Let's drop some of these dread root tubers, like four of them. I don't need that many. I, I end up basically never using salt uh, injectors, sal salve injectors. I never end up using them because like they become irrelevant very quickly. Let's see which one, one of these witchwood barks. Uh, we are famished and we are also inspired. So let us continue on our food-based journey choose ingredients to cook with we're gonna choose freeze-dried horse rooms we have soul curd when did that happen cider and salt four to five quickness guaranteed to be tasty if eaten while hungry can use cryokinesis at level one to two if you already have cryokinesis is enhanced by two to three levels i think that's a physical mutation so i don't believe it is enhanced by our ego and oh no it is an ego based one wow so we could just have cryokinesis cryokinesis is a very decent mutation um let's we could go ahead and uh, set that. It's already set to, to F1. Just dang, you know? Things are happening. Horseshoes are pretty valuable, so I shouldn't really cook with them, but I, I you know, this is our opportunity to, to discover some new effects that would be fun to play with. I really wish I had trash divining right now. Really, really wish I had trash divining. You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to put one point into intelligence. And then I'm going to take uh, trash divining. That's it. That's it. 
because there's a we could be getting tons of secrets right now and i'm just refusing because of what i mean i i, I want to dump those other attribute points probably into willpower willpower would be really good um ego would also be obviously good i was gonna do the math at some point as to uh, how many mutations i need versus how much ego i need uh in order to get 200 glimmer i think the obvious choice is i'm gonna need probably 10 mutations how does this work 10 mutations at two each would only be 20. 10 mutations at 10 each would be 100. So if I had 20 mutations at 10 each, the reason I say 10 each is 10 is the maximum level your a mutation can be at, but it doesn't, that's, you know, not, our, our ego will probably just make things 10. At a certain point, if we get to like 30 ego, we'll probably add like plus six everything i'm not sure it's every second one you get plus one right so uh ego to at 30 will be plus seven so at plus seven we would need um how many how do you get to 200 from seven <laughs> well 10 times seven would be 70. so um, ten, 7, 14, 21. So we would need 21, 21, uh, mutations. That's actually not beyond the realm of possibility. I think I am going to have to put those other two attributes points into ego though. I don't know. I got to be careful about it because uh, remember, um, the more points I put into all of this, the more I'm going to be hunted by spicy creatures. And I won't necessarily have the insane strength that I need to defeat said spicy creatures. So it'll just be a, kind of a waste of time. Tell you what I could do just for fun is we could see what our next... Um, what our, our potential mutations are by starting precognition and then taking a mutation. We would get beguiling. Beguiling, it would be very good for us. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take beguiling. That puts us up above uh, psychic glimmer thirty. But if it was like almost anything else, I don't think I would take it. Beguiling is just going to be so, so good for us. Um, we have beguiling, domination, and, <laughs> and prosthetization. So we have like three. Well, we only, uh, only have two. But we've got a lot of opportunities to make friends with whatever it is in front of us. Is, um, is Beguiling ego-based? Mutation rank plus, or ego mod, whichever is higher. Okay, so it's mutation or ego. So what is, um, what is, uh, domination? Oh, it is, okay, mutation or ego. Huh, okay, so ego doesn't actually play a role if your rank is high enough. I'm, I'm learning a lot of things today. But in any case, uh, we have Beguiling and we have an opportunity to, um, to make friends where we didn't before. Beguiling is very useful for um, charming creatures that hate you uh, in order to make friends with them and uh, get much needed insp um, reputation. We have another, we have, we are inspired. We keep, continue to be inspired a lot. Let's do like soul curd. Soul curd is very valuable, but why not? Uh, we'll do soul curd and cider. Very expensive meal here. Four to five quickness, 100% to natural healing rate. 
Really good meal. Really decent meal there. Legendary scribe. Oh, that's that's really nice. That's a, a legendary scribe is worth exploring the entire marsh for. So this is actually exceptional. If you don't know, legendary scribes, if we're lucky, I think we'll have, um, I forget what they're called, pages? They're pages that will give us reputation with basically whoever we want at a given moment. Um, so this is really, really good. This is the kind of person that is worth like cloning 10 or so times because every time we check on them, they're going to have different reputation, different, different stuff to buy. Uh, we should really, you know what? Let's go ahead and fix this weird artifact. And then, uh, examine it again. Freeze grenade. I love freeze grenades. We definitely want to keep that. Um, we could eat some more witchwood bark, but I think we're okay now. The problem is, is we're a hundred percent going to find another book. Oh, Hulk honey injector. Amazing. I'm actually going to leave that copper nugget. It's not really worth taking. There's some more books over here. So we are going to be over encumbered. Uh, I need to drop something. Oh, we have a, what is, what kind of, um, cell do we have in there? Radio-powered chem cell. We can go ahead and dis uh, disassemble that. In fact, we'll start treating those as scrap. Risk. I can't remember what these do. Provide 10 units of compute powder to the local lattice. Item grants a bonus to identifying artifacts as if your intelligence score was rate increased by 2. Also <laughs> provide some light. It's, it's kind of fun, but I don't need it. We're still pretty close to over encumbered. And there's at least one more bookshelf that has a book on it. Nothing else. I disagree. There's a bookshelf right here worth, worth looking at. And now we are overweight again, which is fine. I don't mind. We're going to have to figure out what to do with those missile weapons. Um, well, we're about to spend some money. I'm going to go ahead and drop these water skins for now. I'll come pick them up when I come back. 100% the scribe is going to have some stuff that we want. Schrodinger pages. That's what I have. Oh, we found out the clues for a slime bog. Amazing. Here we go. Here's our legendary scribe. Loved by the Merchant's Guild, hated by cannibals, hated by the Hinder de Bela. Why? Every single time I'm like, oh, maybe I'll make friends with them. They they have some horrible trade-off. Schrodinger page of the Annals. These are Seekers of the Sightless Way. I don't think I care about Seekers of the Sightless Way reputation. I mean, we could definitely take it anyway. Like, there's... The nice thing about these is there's really no downside outside of, um... The fact that they cost money right and we can of course also buy books from them but that won't be viable until much much later so let's go ahead and read this um where is it is it in miscellaneous yes entangled text on the seventh of tomb ut Iket became admired by the Seekers of the Sightless Way for praising their spheres. Increased by 190 to three, negative 310. So, I mean, that helps because if we can get a couple of those, then eventually we can, you know, we'll be on good terms with Seekers. This is a very good find. This is actually better than finding a legendary Iker merchant, if you can believe that. 
Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of trading. Blessings of fermented. Um, I would like to get rid of some of our weighty stuff, like gigantic copper nugget, for example. Probably we don't have enough stuff here. We can trade the cider. I want to keep the oil. Uh, masterwork scope turbine. Let's get rid of that. Finally. Uh, I may not be good enough to get all this stuff, so let's... Let's downsize a little bit. Here we go. Perfect. Cool. This was, uh, this was fantastic. I like how there's ink everywhere. Makes a lot of sense. You slip on some ink. Grenade launcher. Well, we'll go ahead and treat these as scrap and disassemble. Grab that nugget. Reshe floor. I think it'll be worth um, heading to uh, six days still. We have some more books now. And we also have... Um, what, what, what else do we have? We have Reshe floor and we have books. So this was great. Um, let's, let's go to the stilt now, if you're lost, really? In the salt marsh. Wild. Okay. Can we, can we be unlost soon? You discover some some rakish a ruin. Well, we'll check out this ruin. Got a chameleon. Oh, I, I forgot to get my water skins. Luckily, there was another one here. I say luckily. I mean, I, I don't really need them. I just need them for carrying extra random liquids I happen to have at any given moment. Okay, salt desert. We will wander our way back over here and uh, hand in our Resha floor. We're getting pretty up there in uh, level. Not nearly end game, but you know, we're getting there. 18,000 XP. We leveled up to level 17. We're inspired. Good stuff. We're almost level 18. Slicks by the village of Kikuka. Can't do that, I'm afraid, friend. Give books. Give all of the books. And that's enough for another level. Good stuff. We have another attribute point. We could throw a, a, an attribute point on Ego. I don't really like it. But we could do it. We could try using our Beguiling to make friends with that Snapjaw. That is an option. Slime Bog. Giant Dragonfly. Where is... Lair of Legendary Snapjaw Shotgunner? Did I go there? South 1 Snapjaw. Okay, so it's right there. So I am going to have to find our Snapjaw. They... He'll probably have wandered a little bit. Oh, no, there he is. And we're going to... We're going to beguile them, hopefully. They shouldn't have a very good... Like... Defense against this. Where is our beguiling mutation? Oh, there it is. Okay. Beguile. Done. Except we created two portals. So let's go ahead and make friends with them real quick before they uh, fall into a portal. In fact, why don't we go ahead and dominate them and then jump them into a portal? 
Sounds like a good idea. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Five strata deep. We want to end that domination so that we don't accidentally get pulled in ourselves. Wait a minute, why are you back here? Oh, you're beguiled. Right. I guess you just, like, get pulled back. You know what, friend? Uh, direct to stay there. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was kind of pointless. I, in a way, that feels like an exploit, because you could beguile a creature, dominate them, jump them into a portal to scout out, and then you wouldn't lose anything. You wouldn't even lose your friend, because they just get, like, portaled back to you, basically. Um, did we check out this legendary Snapjaw shotgunner? I don't think we did. There's, uh, definitely reasons for doing that. We sh we should be able to make some more Snapjaw reputation here. Yeah, we didn't do this. Oh, are we already on neutral ground with them? Nice. Loved by Snapjaws and admired by un Unshelled Reptiles. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for not being a uh, compromise. You were just amazing. And we have another Snapjaw warrior. Loved by Snapjaws, hated by my Pango, hated by Daughters of Exile. You are a bit more of a compromise, I'm afraid. I think I, I cannot make friends with you. But that's okay because I don't really need to. Um, now we are on, like, good enough terms with Snapjaw that we can, um, we can just kind of do what we want. Get whatever reputation we want. Like, we could kill that one Snapjaw and, um, still be on fairly neutral terms with Snapjaws. Well, probably not, actually. But that's fine. We can always beguile future, uh, Snapjaws. What I could do is beguile that Snapjaw, carry, uh, bring them out here, and then kill them so that we don't aggro the rest of them. But I, again, I don't really need to do that. Mapango and Daughters of Exile... Uh, actually, that is pretty good rep, because the thing is, is that... Um, if we were to, you know... We could, we could uh, have the Slinth join either of them. So let's try Prostatize. So Prostatize is just going to be good because... Wait, we... Oh, we, we dominated. I pressed the wrong button. I'm just gonna dominate, like, bring them up there and end domination. They'll be like, you know, they'll just think they uh, had a really, you know, good night partying. Um, this is the one, right? Yeah. Loved by Snapjaws. Sucks that we have to do it this way, but... You're disliked by Snapjaws. I don't blame them. But we now have, uh, 365 rep with Mapango, and 190 rep with Daughters of Exile. 100% that is worth it. I think so, anyway. Okay, um, let's continue. We're nearing the end of this episode. Continue uh, sweeping this, this, the marsh. We've achieved one of our goals, um, which is to be on fairly neutral ground with Snapjaws. Like, we're not on great terms right now, but they're just a, one beguile away, you know? Getting beguiling, like, precognition is basically the perfect exploit tool. Like, if I was on a classic run, obviously Precognition would be great for sussing out, you know, dangerous situations. But the best reason to have Precognition is, is for things like, oh, what is my next mutation going to be? If it's not something good, then I won't take it now. I'll take it, like, later. But Beguiling makes, oh, makes things so easy. So I am I'm very grateful for Precognition having made that much easier we are on bad terms with uh snap jaws again sucks there's a fleeting moment where we were friends with them but you know daughters of exile mopango 
I'm pretty sure I can talk to like I I think I know who both of those um factions like who represents both those factions so I can talk to them to have the slinth join them. Um by the way if you don't know like it, it's only 3 villages to kind of complete the slinth quest but to get a certain achievement you need to have 10 villages want the slinth which means you have to have 600 reputation with uh 10 villages and 10 villages that you can speak to the the, the person who represents them also hated by the villagers of karuk disliked by the villagers of bimor okay well usually i you know me i love my barathramite rep but i think in this instance it would actually be better and this person also is jacked well, Jack doesn't mean anything to me. I can't possibly get electric generation. They do have Serene Visage, though. That is quite good. Willowy is also good. Uh, ontological Anchor. Point Defense Drone is really good, and we also really need that. Stasis Cask? What the heck is that? Well, I don't know. But it's surely it's worth money. Um, so I am actually going to kill this lad even though they are loved by barathermites barathermite lore or reputation is very easy for me to obtain i am gonna save i don't like to save scum very you know but i am gonna save um we're gonna go ahead and kill this lad fine Just check to see. Uh, our gaslight Chris does have a charge. We have tons of uh, witch wood bark, but I'm going to use a salve just so I can continue fighting. Okay, we're going to sprint away for a moment. Okay, we are out of juice. We cannot process these are robots, so we can't really proselytize them. The pistol sounds so weak. Oh, we can activate a hologram. That might help. Yes, it will. Nice sound effects for the robots. Um, let's go ahead and chew some witchwood bark. And we'll take another tonic. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Our gaslight Chris is still charged. It's this just this guy is just very tough. We could try and beguile um, someone utterly impervious to your charms. Yeah, I figured. Can we dominate them? Nope. Yeah, you can't really dominate a robot. Can you prosthetize a robot? Nope. I mean, maybe you can, but not that one. <sighs> this guy is actually tough. Um, let's laze them. Take another tonic. Actually, I just need to get rid of this other guy. Okay. Good stuff. I just need to get rid of his friends. They're kind of causing a lot of problems for me. Uh, Gaslight Chris is almost dead. Almost out of salve injectors. There's still more? Did not mean to do that. Meant to, uh, 
create another hologram. If I die, oh man. You want me only select a visible square, okay. Put it between me and them. Do we have any more witchwood bark? Yes, we do. More witchwood bark. More witchwood bark. Can we prosthetize them? Nope. More witchwood bark. Badly damaged. Could you just die, please? Thank you. Is that our legendary friend? Yes. Um, how bad? How how bad are they? They're fine. Oh man. This is a really annoying situation because the stupid grass is keeping us from seeing them whenever like we move Let's just deactivate the hologram and put it somewhere else I don't know where they are Can you are, are you not oh you're not enemies to me anymore. I guess they were fighting the hologram for long enough that Okay, so what we want to do is recover that means they've recovered as well. May as well uh, grab the stuff on the ground. Where did you go? Wow, you really did wander away. You like to wander, huh? Okay. Now, can you stay there for a moment while I shoot you? Okay, now that they're here, can we intimidate them? Nope. Oh, this is really annoying. Can we prosthetize them? Nope. I I really should stop trying to prosthetize things. It never works for me, ever. It for real just never, ever, ever works for me. It's never worked out for me. Like even, it probably worked out once and, and that is like justified a ton of times where I've like used it when it has not worked. So they're lightly damaged. That's that's what all like eight charges of lays does for you is it lightly damages something. I don't know if we want to do this. Okay, they're friendly to us now. I don't want to use any of my grenades because I want to learn how to make those. This episode is running long again. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and mark this zone. Um, kill Barath. We're good. Um, we can leave. It's a shame that it had to go down like that in more ways than one. So we're pretty much done. I, I still haven't fully combed through the uh, the salt marsh. It's it's proving to be uh, very distractible. It's a it's a very there's a lot of stuff going on and not all, all of those things are interesting, but like they are pulling me this way and that. I kind of regret going back to being on bad terms with um, Snapjaws. I kind of regret it. Because it was there's it was nice, you know It was nice accomplishing a goal I haven't really gotten any achievements in a while, but that's only because um, Like a lot of the goals uh, a lot of the achievements I'm going for are, are Kind of difficult to obtain They're they're they are quite difficult so um, You know it, it unless I get an achievement by pure luck. It's just not gonna happen so yeah uh, what we will do though is we'll we'll make another recipe to end this episode on what what we do yonder cane and salt 
And yeah, that's good enough. Guaranteed to be tasty. Can use teleport other? Meh. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me and uh, for, for watching. If you want to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you very much to the people who are supporting me on coffee. Uh, Y'all are, are doing amazing. Thank you so much. And if you're interested, I have launched a Discord. Um, you know, like everyone needs one, I guess. But uh, you can join for the purposes of getting notified whenever I upload a new video or uh, go live on youtube I, I don't i don't stream on twitch so it's youtube you'll get notified or you can opt out of notifications and just talk to other like-minded simples like myself and I'll, I'll see you guys next time thank you very much take it easy